Now we're going to go on an age, you know, we've been going, I'm your host, brother Victor. Today we're talking about, you know, willing and obedience. We started out, you know, on this, that was yesterday. And today we're going to talk about, take a different look at how you can willing it and you can be obedient in different scenarios. Now we have th uh, four lists of things. You can willing and not be obedient. There are people like that are willing, and this is where you find majority of Christians. Willing, I'll, I'll do that, I'll do that, but they will not do that. And you find people that are not willing and not also obedient. So they find people that are not willing, um, but at the end of the day, they become obedient. Then you find people that are both willing and obedient. So those are the four kind of, um, scenarios of things that can happen. And just get a paragraph of this about in Matthew chapter 21 about a man that, you know, his father asked him, go and do something. He said, no, I won't do that. But he laid down and did it. Then the one of his other um, servant or his son said, I'll do it. And he saw and he did not go. So which one of them did the will of his father? That was Jesus said. So we have to know that we need to do God's will. Many of us are willing, but not many of us are actually fully true. And his obedience that really counts in all of it. Because when, you know, Jesus comes, we need to have been obedient, not just only willing to be able to enter into eternal life. So if you're not born again, that's how you start the journey. So you get born again by saying prayer on the screen. And if you're not already born again, test over Jesus Christ. So I hope to see you again. God bless.